The Chinese medical team was welcomed today by the Port Mosby General Hospital Management. These medical professionals are here under the Chinese Medical Aid Program, which has been in existence since 2002. This is the 11th team to the country and is made up of 10 medical personnel specialized in various medical fields. There are eight, uh, eight uh, experienced uh, professionals, uh, including seven doctors uh, specializing in cardiology and uh, uh, neonatology, urology, and uh, uh, gynecology, onco on oncology, and uh, neurosurgery and the China, traditional China medicine rehabilitation. The medical team have all gone through quarantine and received their qualification certificates to practice in the country. They will be assisting staff at the Port Mosby General Hospital under their respective fields. They will also be visiting outside provinces as per their program. The team today was accompanied by Liu Lingling, who is the economic and commercial counselor of the Chinese embassy in the country. The previous 10 teams have organized various training programs covering more than 1,500 medical staff and have provided high quality medical treatment to nearly 140,000 local people. Since 2018, funded by the Chinese government. The Chinese medical team has helped establish a minimum invasive surgery center in, uro in urology in Port Mosby General Hospital. The Health Secretary, Dr. Osborne Liko, thanked the Chinese government for the continuous support and said it has also benefited local doctors who have had the opportunity to study in Chinese institutions. Dr. Liko said this arrangement was interrupted by the COVID-19 outbreak. However, there are plans to continue. Beginning of last year, 2000 and, sorry, 2020, we've had Dr. Um, our pediatric surgeon um, went over for six months at Chongqing. And followed by Dr. Sidney James, the, the, the urologist, went over to Chongqing for another six months. We were looking forward to have the continuous collaborations. When I was here, I was given the opportunity to say what else we can do to advance this further. We were saying, uh, of course, when we, when we go to China, it's a different culture, different language. So we wanted to at least, that was a initial um, discussions going forward. We could have three years going there for a year, and two years actually going into hands-on, you know, uh, skills, um, upskilling, learning process. The Port Mosby General Hospital CEO, Dr. Paki Molumi, on the other hand, acknowledged the Chinese government for other benefits under the medical aid program, such as new equipments to the hospital. In addition, they have also made donations of specialized medical equipment in the relevant field of specialty at Port Mosby General Hospital. I want to speak more in the special aid of urology has advanced to a level where we are providing endoscopic surgery, penile endoscopic surgery in urology uh, through this support. And uh, I want to thank the People's Republic of China for advancing that service and many other specialist services as well. The CEO said the Chinese assistance will have a positive impact on the development of the hospital as it strives to become the National Teaching and Referral Center, which is outlined in the 2021 to 2030 National Health Plan. Charlene Airy, National MTV News.